Your mind is software. Program it. Your body is a shell. Change it. Death is a disease. Cure it. Extinction is approaching. Fight it. Program, change, cure, fight. These four ideas permeate through Eclipse Phase, a favorite game of mine made by Posthuman Studios. Eclipse Phase takes place in what's called a transhuman future, a period in when humanity is so different from what we know ourselves to be today that we can't really just be called human anymore. Some even consider themselves post-human, having forcefully and technologically and biologically evolved themselves past the point of basic humanity. So what's the basic premise in Eclipse Phase? Uh, it's another sort of exploration game. Uh, it's a percentile-based game where your skills are based on anywhere from uh, 0 to 99 and can't go higher than that. Various things give you bonuses uh, in the styles of anywhere from 10 to 60 uh, as an improvement on that percentage. And then you roll the percentile die. If you get under that, you succeed. If you get over that, you fail. And if you get doubles in either way, it's a critical success or failure, depending on how well you did. That's the basic gist of it. So what's the world, what's, uh, what's the catch, what, what makes it interesting, is that the very basic idea in Eclipse Phase is that your mind is just a piece of software. It can easily be pulled in and out of fully modifiable biological and artificial bodies at any time. Uh, there is no hyperspace, there is no faster than light travel. The only way to get from one place to the other is to beam yourself through uh, basically download yourself into a new body on a different planet. And you're going to need to do that because Earth is gone. Uh, at the time that Eclipse Phase starts, humanity has ruined the planet. Well, specifically, the Titan program has ruined the planet. Your classic robot gone mad with power that took over the Earth, hijacked us all with horrible diseases that mutated our bodies and made us terrible slaves, and then one day packed up, shot off into space and never to return with no explanation of why they ruined our planet or us. Now we're all stuck colonized on Mars, the moons and titans, far into the outer rim of the system. And uh, there's as much intrigue and betrayal and people just trying to make their way in the universe as any immortal uh, human mind that can buy basic insurance so that you can be permanently stored in a computer can muster. So death really isn't a problem, but there are regular memory lapses, loss of body, you know, it's just, it's super easy to get kicked out of a space station or vaporized by a powerful LAS gun. But in the process, if you've paid the right people, they'll download you into probably a body that you'll like. Hopefully they haven't gene hacked it in some way so that you'll now have to pay them exorbitant fees to get the cures consistently until you can have yourself downloaded into something else. But all of that confusing rhetoric and that myriad of choices and ideas is what really forms the foundation of uh, Eclipse Phase. Now, for a lot of players that are looking for more of a conventional sort of heroic story with all of the moral ambiguity that Eclipse Phase can offer you, they have Firewall. Firewall is a secret society, kind of like the Illuminati but not government sponsored and also uh, mostly concerned with uh, eliminating what they call X-risks, existential threats to humanity. The kinds of things like the Titans that will uh, eliminate humanity in the future. Um, they don't care what people do, necessarily ethically, so long as what they do doesn't f uh, force uh, those sort of burgeoning AIs that destroyed us in the first place. Um, and they'll do just about anything to stop that. If you work for uh, Firewall, it may be just as likely that you'll be helping people defend against uh, powerful corporate espionage, uh, or you may be involved in the outer rim blowing up an entire space station of mostly innocent people who are attempting to delve into research that may lead to the end of humanity. That's, uh, the entire world of Eclipse Phase is full of that sort of exploration, confusion, and uh, overall, uh, it's just really interesting and really strange. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that uh, sometimes for Eclipse Phase, the system itself uh, can be seen as uh, very vast and somewhat intimidating. And so that's why they made a fate book. It's small, um, and it's a lot. You'd still want the main book in order to get some idea of the lore, um, but the uh, Transhumanity's Fate is a module 
for the Fate system that makes Eclipse Phase a little more streamlined and easier for some people to get into that might find it as too crunchy. Um, and for me, uh, that's all I really have to talk about as far as Eclipse Phase is concerned. I think it's a great game, um, and it's a lot to take in, and it poses uh, just as many questions uh, and doesn't really give any good answers to that. Plus, there aren't many games where you could play an uplifted chimp or dolphin in a robotic squid body who spends most of their time on the outside of a space station trying to find wormholes to other dimensions. And that's the kind of thing that Eclipse Phase can offer you. And uh, the only other thing I wanted to mention this week is that uh, coming up very soon, we are going to be interested in getting guest hosts uh, for this segment. There's a lot of RPGs here, and while I could sit on and blather about all my favorite ones continuously and continuously, people are going to get real tired of hearing my voice real fast. So we're looking for anybody else who might be interested in coming on and talking with us about the RPGs that they think are really exciting. Um, and if you do have an interest in that, please email us at goberetail at gmail.com. That's G-O-B-R-E-T-A-I-L at gmail.com. And uh, we'd love to get in touch with you and talk about your, your favorite games and maybe have you on the show. So I'm Rob at GOB, and that's it for this week in RPGs. Thanks.